Hi, you've got uh, Toby here at uh, usedoakwinebarrels.com. We're going to uh, teach you today how to put together this beautiful table. Um, it's super simple, just a handful of supplies from our trusty used oak wine barrel. We've got a barrel head, we have one of the rings, we have a simple common board from Home Depot, and four staves. A little bit of hardware, and uh, we've, got this, we've got this table. This is the unfinished version. When it's done at the end of the program, I will show you what it looks like with a teak oil finish um, and a gloss black band here on the bottom. So remember, don't forget your Oakley safety glasses, your gloves, get some water, let's build a table. Okay, so we've got our common board here. This is going to be the uh, uh, support structure underneath this uh, barrel head. These barrel heads, when they dry out, they tend to start to warp, so you're going to need something to uh, uh, screw down to it to keep it nice and flat. Uh, the common board works perfect. I've laid it out here. We cut it, uh, you know, the, the barrel heads across, I think are 23 inches in most cases. We've cut it a little bit shorter right to the edge of the lip here. We're going to take this over to the bandsaw cut it out and then duplicate another one and then uh, I'll bring it to the next step. Okay, so we have our common board here cut out from the bandsaw. Now we're just going to duplicate it. We're going to put it down here, line it up, mark this one out, this side out, Got our duplicate, take it, cut it off, back to the bandsaw. Okay, we've got the two common boards cut out. We've got them made it up here. What I forgot to tell you the last time was this is a 10 inch board, which is actually means it's nine and a quarter. The reason why I did it that way was because I like to offset my legs. Um, you could get a 12 inch board and made them up together, cut a complete circle and make your eight legs even if you want to. I think uh, an offset look on the table looks a little better. So we've made it up our boards. We're going to um, mount it to our barrel top here, drill it, countersink it, screw it down so we can get a nice flat uh, top on our barrel top and then we're going to line up our legs. I've marked out the curve here, it's 11 inches across, so at five and a half is the center. That's where we're gonna want our legs for a nice offset on both sides. Took one of our uh, staves over to the uh, saw and we cut a 10 degree angle on here with the longer side being towards the red since the red's gonna be out. And we're gonna, we're gonna mate this up right down here on our five and a half inch mark. Eyeball it if you want to. Lay it down there. Mark it out. And then we're going to take that back over to the bandsaw and cut that piece out. And our leg is going to fit right down in there solid. And um, do that for all four legs. And then we're going to mount it to our common board, which is mounted to our barrel top. Okay, so we're cutting out the notches for our, our legs. So, uh, you know, one of the ways I like to do it is cut the ends and then cut uh, all the way up to my line for the back side of the stave. Make five or six cuts across there. Then as I come in and cut it out, uh, those chunks are easier to fall out. Okay, so you can see we've notched out our common board here uh, after we marked it out for our stain. So if you've done it right, uh, it'll fit right down in there, just right, nice and flush on your barrel head. And um, then you can uh, countersink some screws right here to hold it into that common board. Um, you should label your legs. This is B, B. Uh, each one of these staves is slightly different, so uh, make sure and label them so you don't get them confused. All right, so we've got the notches cut out for our legs here on our common board. 
Um, the reason why I chose this common board is because it's inexpensive. Um, if you want a more rustic look for your table, you don't want to finish it as, as much as I'm going to finish this one. Um, you, maybe you buy a higher quality board, uh, a piece of oak or oak veneer uh, for the underside. You're never really going to see it unless you're laying on the floor. And that's exactly why I'm going to take this board and I'm going to stain it. Um, so that if you do lay on the floor and look at it, you'll, it'll have a nice uh, stained look for it. Also, when you put the band on, if there's any gap at all in the band, which is possible, the bands are uneven, um, you know, it'll be nice and dark because this is a finished product. If you don't want to finish yours as well, then, it, then uh, you know, choose what kind of underlayment you want. Um, I'm also going to take the staves at this point and I'm going to sand down the outside and the inside. Um, the oak, the, the wine has soaked into these staves and so I think when you sand them down and you put a teak oil finish on them, they look beautiful. So that's the way we're going to do mine. If you want to do yours uh, in more rustic look, then you could just, at this point, just mount them up and, um, and flip it over and you got your table. This one's going to be sanded and, and polished a little more. Okay, so we're back, day two. Uh, we have stained our common board for the underside of this table. So now we're going to uh, get it centered up here on the, on the uh, barrel head. And we're gonna countersink drill some holes so that we can screw it down. And uh, this creates a nice flat surface for the table. And it also um, creates a nice look from underneath with the stained look. So let's get it mounted up. Okay, so uh, we're finishing up here, securing this, the top of our barrel head. One more screw. Alright, time to uh, switch our head here. Now, we're going to mount our legs. We label them, this is A. A goes right here. We set it in our slot that we cut out for it, got our countersink bit, and we're going to countersink our hole. Alright, we've counter <clears throat> sunk the holes into our legs here. Um, at this point in the build, this is where you decide how, how tall you want your table. I, I made these tables um, as high as the barrel, so it's like 36 inches tall. Um, if you don't want it that high, chop these legs, make them a little shorter. Countersink them, and then we'll mount them on. So now that we've countersunk our holes, two inch gold screws, put it in. four of our legs assembled on the table. So now we need a cross support here. Uh, take a piece of uh, one of the other staves and uh, we're going to cut it down, cut it in half so they're about half the size of these staves and we're going to find a good point. I usually go a foot down from the bottom of this stool and we'll line them up, cut them out, and mount them in. Okay now it's time to put our support pieces in here. So we've got the other one up here. Uh, I measured 12 inches from the bottom of this bottom brace. Take uh, another one of our staves. Uh, I've got this board in here to wedge these apart 24 inches. I like that uh, width. You might want them a little more in, maybe a little more out. 24 is good because the barrel top itself is about 22, so it's a little bit wider. So anyway, we take our stave. We get it up in here when we have our legs spread apart at 24 inches. Line it up 
to our marks at 12 inches and put the marks on it. We can take it over to the saw, cut this out, and then we can split this board in half and use the other one for the top brace, which will be a little bit shorter. All right, we've got our cross braces secure. Um, I like to use these quick grips to hold them in place, countersink them, one screw each here. And uh, now that they're all put on there, I'm gonna put one in from the bottom. So from the top side, when you stand this table up, you won't see any of the screw holes. Um, that's all the woodwork on this table. The last piece that's left is our band. Um, I like to take uh, the buttons on the bands and put them on one side in between my narrow legs here. It makes for a nice look. And so then on the back, that means that we're gonna wrap this band around here. You can see I have it clipped back here. And uh, I've marked it out on the inside and on the outside. We're gonna undo this clip. These are galvanized bands. Any of you that worked with galvanized know that uh, it can be a pain to weld, it can be a pain to paint. But uh, we're gonna take this over to the chop saw we're going to cut out the marks on the back, and then we're going to take it to the welder. We're going to weld it up. Okay, we've got our galvanized band here welded up. This is I cut it so that the weld is right in the back, so it's at the back of the table. Got it welded up. Now, at this point, you can leave this band original if you want to, or you can paint it up. This one back here, we did a stainless steel paint, and I masked the nubs off, and we did the, the nubs in red later. Uh, I think this one, we're gonna go with gloss black. But before we can put the gloss black on, we need galvanized primer, special paint for our galvanized band so we can make our paint stick. So let's go paint it up. Okay, we've got our band painted here. Like I said before, galvanized primer first, on these galvanized bands. Then we gloss black it, two coats. Then we put a uh, crystal clear enamel on it to give it a nice shine, even though we had the gloss paint. So now we're gonna mount this to our common board, which is mounted to our barrel head. I like to line up this center nub here with the center mark of our boards. So you get it on there, put it into place, make sure that's centered up. Now we're gonna drill this band in four places. I like to do it on the outsides of each of the legs. I've already done that with the band. We're gonna drill it, four spots, and mount it to our common board. I use these pocket screws. They're kind of decorative. Um, I've taken the screws here, put them in a junk board, primered them, and then painted them with the gloss black to match our band. So now here comes the tricky part. We've removed our legs to get the band on. So now we gotta mount our legs back in here. So it can be a bit of a puzzle. All right, now that we've got it in there, here comes the tricky part. We have to have a friend or maybe even take some of your Irwin clamps here, put them on here, of course after you move up the band, and we need to move the band up so that we can remount our legs. Then we're going to push the band back down and mount it to our common board. Our legs are mounted on here now. We had a partner pull the band up while we mounted them on. Now it's time to put the band back on the board. Got it down into place. Our screws, our holes are already drilled, so it's time to put the screws in. All right, we got our last screw into our band. This table is done. Gloss black band, teak oil finish, polyurethane on the top, rub-on polyurethane. So, just a little recap of the stuff that we needed to build this table. I used a Minwax stain, red mahogany 225, 
for the common board underneath. I used um, galvanized primer for my band, gloss black, a clear to go over it. On our other table back here, we use stainless on the band. You can use that too. Teak oil, Watco's teak oil, is what we put on the entire project. And then on the top, some wipe on polyurethane. We've got uh, some inch and a quarter screws and some two inch gold screws and our pocket screws that we painted for our band. This table's done. It's a pretty easy project. Take you about five or six hours and um, this occasional table will look beautiful anywhere. Thank you for tuning in today and don't forget to go to our website usedoakwinebarrels.com. Thanks.